What's up, Rage Nation? How's it going? This is Alex, you and you're watching the Rage Nation Toy Show. This is just a web series where we talk about toys and collectibles that matter to me. This is episode number 29, and if you are just tuning in, you are watching a haul video. What I have right now is a couple of boxes that I will be unboxing, and what they are are packages that I've kept in storage for two years, and the reason why is because I knew that at some point in time I was going to move into my own place, so I just never bothered opening them up. And that is because I had no display or surface space or shelves in, at my old place. Now I'm here at my own place and things are looking better. I'm getting some new shelves and we are going to be displaying some really cool stuff. But first of all, in this haul video, I just want to show you what I ended up getting in these three random boxes from Japan. I don't know what's in them, so let's just open them up. But I do know that they are SH figure arts or... Mayfex or Revel Tech, Amazing Yamaguchi. They could be any one of those because I know I bought a lot of those from Japan. So let's just uh, open them up and see what's in here. Here we go. This is the first box. Once again, complete mystery. Okay, here we go. Get the paper out of the way. Okay, there's nothing in here. Oh, it's just one item. And, oh, this is a recent release, actually. Let me just get this box out of the way. This is the the latest in the Amazing Yamaguchi line. It's um, Psylocke from X-Men. And the Amazing Yamaguchi line is part of the um, Amikomi series, which is a Japanese short for um, American Comic. So this is the American Comic series, and this is Psylocke. And this is one of a few... Um, Mutants actually that are already in the line, but they've also included um, characters from Avengers as well as uh, Spider-Man. So cool. Now I have Psylocke. Very, very nice. Okay, that's just one figure in one box. Let's see what's in these other ones. <clears throat> this is always fun. It's like Christmas, but at some point in time, all the boxes are going to be unboxed and then that will be the end of that until more things come in. But at that point in time, I... I will do. Um, I won't be doing these types of uh, videos anymore. I'll just be showing you what I got in, and it's probably like a one-off, and I'll probably review it. Ooh, Star Wars stuff. Okay. Oh, more amazing Yamaguchi. Let me just pull everything out first. Make sure there's nothing else in here. Okay. Amazing Yamaguchi once again. This is Wolverine. Oh, this is pretty cool. Look at that Wolverine, and this is gonna go great with my other mutants because I do have Deadpool. Now I have Psylocke. Um, there, I also have um, Magneto, I just got that in recently in a previous episode, as well as I have Gambit and um, I think I have Gambit on pre-order as well. So there you have it, check that out, that's Wolverine, great looking character, lots of pulls ability, and we'll open this up another time. Um, BB-9E, now BB-9E is actually a, um, well it's from Star Wars Last Jedi, but this came as like a two pack. If you bought this one and this one together, you get BB-9E. And those particular figures are Captain Phasma. Let me just get rid of this um, plastic. You actually see that they're packaged together. And the main reason why is because they want to um, uh, promote the, 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 the sale or giveaway of, of this um, these other droids. So this Captain Phasma from The Last Jedi, and I'm not sure how much, how different it is from um, the Force Awakens Last Jedi, but uh, we'll, we'll do a little bit of a comparison. And which one's this one? First Order Stormtrooper from Last Jedi. And it looks like just a standard uh, First Order Stormtrooper, but with, with just with a shoulder pauldron. So I'm not sure how much more that is different compared to the previous ones, but for me, I love doing army builders and I love the fact that they're slightly different. So I'm cool with having identical looking clone troopers because I do want to build in a nice army because I actually think this is a really cool design. Okay, let's put this aside. And this comes to the last box. It's a little bit sad that this is the last one, but you know, I'm not made of money. <laughs> so here we go. Okay. What do we have in store for me today? Avengers! Okay, let's just get everything out at once. Make sure nothing else is in here. Yep, clear. Okay, so another amazing Yamaguchi. This time from Spider-Man is Carnage. I have Spider-Man, 
I have, um, oh, one thing I don't have is Spider-Gwen. Actually, I might look into getting her after I've seen Spider-Verse, Into the Spider-Verse, and Haley Seinfeld voiced her. I'll look into that, see if it's still available for order. Anyways, Carnage is in effect. I do have him now, which is going to be awesome because I do have Venom, and uh, they would be gr a great pose together. Um, what else do we have? Iron Spider. This is the upgraded Spider-Man from Avengers Infinity War with uh, Tony Stark's brand new armor. So very, very cool. I have... Um, so I now have uh, three different uh, Spider-Mans from recent releases from the Marvel Cinematic Universe. And this is Avengers Infinity War, Captain America. Very, very cool. Adding more characters to my Avengers Infinity War selection, or collection rather. And there you have it. Now here comes the point where I put everything together to show you what I picked up. But actually it's just um, uh, things that I unboxed in this video. Uh, because I didn't actually pick them all up at the same time. Uh, we have three Star Wars items, two Marvel Cinematic Universe items, both from Avengers Infinity War, and three amazing Yamaguchi figures from um, Rebel Tech. So very, very cool. I'm very, very excited to open them all up. And, you know, these are beautiful boxes. I love the packaging on them. And actually, I want to ask you guys a question. When you have nice boxes like this, what do you do with them? Do you just open them up and chuck them, like throw them away? Or do you keep them around in storage? At the end of the day, you're going to have a lot and a lot of boxes um, if you keep them. So I'm actually having a bit of a dilemma right now. I mean, I do want to display them because I'm actually picking up these really nice, well, I think they're nice, um, Ikea display shelves from the Besta line. If you know what the Besta line, I'm not going to pick up a Detolf just because... Well, I don't think they're that nice. They're cheap, but they're not that nice. I want a really, really well-lit display case. And uh, that's why I'm going with the Besta line, which was inspired by Boris, who's my buddy from ages3andup.com. Uh, he uses the Besta line, and he displays his Transformers very, very beautifully in them. So anyways, that's all I got to say. Uh, let me know your, um, your thoughts about uh, what you guys do with boxes, and um, I'll be happy to read them. As always, if you enjoyed this video and you want to see more, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe to the YouTube channel, like me, Facebook, The Rage Nation, also follow me, Twitter, Rage Nation. My name's Alex, thanks for watching. See you next time. Peace.